Garland, Texas is one of the most overlooked cities in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, and we're going to change that today because even in spite of being the sixth largest city in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, it doesn't get the shine that it deserves. So today we're going to cover Garland's history, what it's like to live in the city, and we're also going to talk affordability, employment, lifestyle, and real estate. And one of the things that's going to be very valuable for you is going to be the comparison that we do of Garland versus the other cities in the DFW Metroplex. All this to say we're covering everything that you need to know about Garland, Texas. Garland borders Dallas and is located on the northeast side of the city. Garland has four major highways that connect it to the rest of the Metroplex. You have the George Bush Turnpike to the north. You have State Highway 78 running north to south straight through the city. And you have Interstate 635 towards the south and Interstate 30 on the southeast side. Now, if you're trying to get to Fort Worth and hit up the zoo, that's going to take you about an hour commute. Now, if you're trying to get to Dallas to visit the Perot Museum, budget in about 30 minutes. And if you need to get away and need to get to the DFW International Airport, budget in about 35 minutes. Now, I share those commute times with you to give you an idea of what the traffic situation looks like from Garland to the major points of interest, because at some point you're going to find yourself going to Fort Worth to Dallas and the airport, of course. But to give you a more day-to-day -day look at the traffic and what commute looks like here around Garland, check out how far you can travel in 30 minutes from Garland, which as you can see, you pretty much have the northeastern part of the Metroplex covered. So now that we know where in the world Garland, Texas even is, I wanna welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel, the go-to real estate channel for the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. My name is Jaime Resendez. I'm a realtor and team leader able to help you make money in real estate, whether you're buying or selling. And we're on a mission to reach every DFW resident. So don't forget to hit that like button because that really helps out the channel. All right, so now let's get back to Garland, Texas, because this is what you came for. Garland is a city located in Dallas County. And as early as the mid 1800s, settlers started beginning arriving in what is now known as Garland. But it wasn't formally incorporated until 1891. And although the initial growth was slow, it soon started picking up steam as it adopted and embraced more of the manufacturing industry. So much so that today Garland is one of the largest manufacturing cities in the state of Texas with over 300 manufacturers. And as of present day, Garland is home to over 250,000 people, which makes it the sixth largest city in the DFW Metroplex and is now known for its cultural diversity, which is reflected in the shopping, the arts, the restaurants, the activities and all the special events that pay homage to different cultures. So to add some context, I want to introduce to you an external resource in niche.com, which analyzes millions of public data sets comparing cities to each other. And as you can see, Garland received an A- from Niche, aggregating these 12 categories seen on the screen right now. And when given the opportunity, Garland residents and former residents gave Garland a 3.5 out of 5 stars. Now this report and the reviews are incredibly detailed, so I'm going to leave it linked down below so you can check it out at your leisure. Because now we need to talk about the parks, the trails, the amenities, and the recreation in Garland. Now, if you're looking for parks, you have options, given that there's over 65 parks to choose from in Garland alone. Now, if trails are more of your speed, you can hop on one of the 15 available to you. Now, overall, you have options, whether you're trying to do disc golf or take your dog to the park, check out the pavilions, go to the rec centers, play some golf, or get entrenched in Garland arts. And as far as overall recreation, you have plenty of facilities to choose from. All right, so now let's look at one of the most important requirements for every homeowner, which is the school system. Because regardless if you have kids or not, it impacts you, number one, with property taxes, and also it's going to impact you from a resale value. Now, the Garland Independent School District is comprised of three cities, Garland itself, Saxe, and Rowlett which has a total of 71 campuses, which makes Garland ISD the second largest district in Dallas County, the fifth largest in Dallas-Fort Worth, and the 15th largest in Texas with over 55,000 students enrolled. And as of last year, had a 95.2% graduation rate. Now, if you're looking for the students to teacher ratio, that is 15 to one, right on par with the state average. And another interesting stat for you is that the percentage of teachers with three or more years of experience is 95%, which is actually 11% higher than the state average. Now, as a real estate agent, there's certain things that I can't get into when it comes to the school system. So I'm gonna leave a full report on Garland ISD down in the description for you to check out. 
But what I am able to get into is answering a very important question. Is there a Chick-fil-A in Garland? And I'm happy to report that there is a Chick-fil-A in the city. Now I understand not everybody values Chick-fil-A as much as I do, which is okay. So now we're gonna start talking about some real estate because regardless if you're a renter or a homeowner, real estate impacts you and it impacts you directly. So we at least wanna have an understanding of what the real estate market is doing in Garland. So let's get started from a macro perspective. The typical home value of homes in Garland is $321,106. Now this value is seasonally adjusted and only includes the middle price tier of homes. Embrace for this, Garland home values have gone up 27.4% over the past year. And that is not a typo. Check out what's been happening in the last 10 years and pay very close attention to the acceleration of this curve in the past year. So yes, as of right now, the median home value in Garland is roughly $322,000. But to give you a better sense of how that stacks up against the other cities in the DFW Metroplex, check out how that compares against other cities that are surrounding Garland. Saxe has a median home value of $472,000. Rowlett, $412,000. Sunnyvale, $645,000. Mesquite, $296,000. Dallas, $337,000, and Richardson's median home value is $468,000. So as you can see, the median home value in Garland is actually on the lower end compared to the city surrounding it. Well, in fact, Garland made my list of the most affordable cities in the entire DFW area altogether. So you're going to want to check out that video right here where I break it down. But at this point, if you're wondering, well, Sure, I know now that the median home value is $322,000. What do I actually buy with that? Well, that's a very good question, and I'm glad that you asked that because here are the homes that are available for sale right now in that price range. So by the time you're watching this video, the homes that you just saw most likely already sold. So to get the most current list of our preferred homes in Garland, check out the link in the description. And I also wanna invite you to check out this video right here that gives you a breakdown of what a monthly mortgage payment looks like in the DFW area. Now that video that I just referenced is mandatory watching if you're coming in from another state because I really want you to understand what property taxes look like here in DFW. All right, so now let's kick it up a notch because real estate isn't the only factor when you're looking at a city. Let's check out the cost of living. The cost of living in Garland overall is 4% higher than the national average. Now, when you look at housing alone, it's actually 6% less than the average. If you look at utilities, it's 10% more. With groceries, you're looking at 2% less. And with transportation, it's actually 10% less expensive than the national average. So at this point, you might be thinking, hi mate, Garland sounds fantastic, I wanna move there. Well, if that's you, go down to the description and connect with our top realtors. Now, if you're still on the fence, that's okay. I wanna give you two comparable cities that I think you might enjoy. I want you to check out Mesquite because it has the same feel as Garland, and I also want you to check out Grand Prairie because I think you're gonna enjoy it. 